The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Really nothing to be had here in the Commonwealth. No inclement weather anywhere around us. We've got it enormously large area of high pressure in charge of our forecast and it looks like it will start to leave us by Friday and allow a low pressure system from the south to move to the north. That is our next chance for rain. Tomorrow looks beautiful, but let's focus on our next chance for rain and it's coming at us from the south. So you see these showers and embedded thunderstorms extending from Florida all the way north into North Carolina by Thursday at 7 p.m. Notice the rain showers get closer to us. They will arrive late Thursday night and they're going to be with us for about two thirds of the day on Friday. The first two thirds of the day Friday look to be the wettest for us, so we're going to have rain Rain showers around from sunrise through about the early to mid afternoon hours. I would say as we get a little bit closer to perhaps four o'clock on Friday, we're going to start to see the rain showers exiting. But we may have one last hurrah coming into play for us Friday night, bringing us maybe a couple more showers as you see a little bit more in the way of rain and a couple of embedded thunderstorms near Charlotte. Those may try to impact a couple of us here as we head into Friday night, but we're going to get a break. Friday looks to be wet at times in the morning, then in the afternoon looks like we'll dry things out briefly only to have one more little last batch of rain pushing in Friday evening. And then our attention turns to another storm system. This one coming from the west. The secondary cold front is going to be uh, what impacts us here on Sunday and Sunday I think will be the day where we have a better chance for potentially some strong to severe thunderstorms we may have a couple of rumbles of thunder on Friday, but nothing will turn severe on Friday. Sunday could potentially be a different story because of the timing of this. It's coming in in the afternoon and evening and will provide scattered showers and thunderstorms for us from soon after lunchtime through about midnight on Sunday night. Temperatures right now stand 71 in Hot Springs, 82 Roanoke, also in Lynchburg, 80 Danville, 72 Withville, and also into Hillsville and Galax. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone, 79 in the NRV, 82 Covington and Clifton Forge, a little bit cooler northbound on 220, 85 a popular number in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and Southside. Very, very warm for us here as we head into our Thursday. The winds right now, not a factor. They're about four to eight miles per hour. However, the winds are going to strengthen, not necessarily tomorrow, but as we head into Friday, Friday, we could have some gusts 10 to 20 miles per hour. Ditto for Saturday. But as you look ahead, if you don't like the wind, <clears throat> John Carlin, uh, Sunday is the day where we're going to have windy conditions around. We're going to have perhaps winds in excess of 30 to 35 miles per hour to close out the weekend. So not only will we have some scattered showers and thunderstorms to contend with during the second half of the weekend, but it also looks like we're going to have some wind to contend with as well. For tonight, fair, pretty mild overnight lows in the 40s to near 50. For the day tomorrow, mainly sunny, very warm. Talked about those highs, mainly in the 80s. Higher elevations will stay in the 70s. Your extended forecast. We drop down between about 70 and 75 Friday, only to hop back up to near 80 Saturday and Sunday. Then behind that cold front Sunday, temperatures fall into the upper 60s and lower 70s Monday through Wednesday of next week.